this tutorial, I'm going to look at doing some simple solid edge design using synchronous technology, and we're going to create this block here. So we'll start with the line command, and I'm going to hover over a plane and hit the F3 to block it. Control H takes me through to the sketch view. Um, before I start, I hit the S key to choose symmetry. So I can go 200, click for the orientation. 25, and click, right mouse click now to reset, but leave me in the command. And we want to go 3 mil in this direction, 60 mil here, and then just close that off. And you notice it's gone blue, which means it's a closed shape now. Um, I'm just going to add some dimensions on here. Um, just make sure that I've keyed in the values correctly and stop anything from moving. So once we've done that, we can unlock the plane. Um, use the hold down on the mouse scroll wheel. Um, allows you to rotate. So if I hit escape and click within the region here on the blue area, I can use the um, arrow to sort of drag in one direction to the other. Symmetry is quite a good thing with synchronous, so um, I'm going to hold the sh uh, hit the shift key, and that makes me symmetric. And just type in the bit that you're after. So all those sketch dimensions transfer into the model, so I could use these to redefine any of these points here. So um, I'm just going to hide them for the moment. So there's a couple of lugs underneath which we'll draw. I'll use a Rectangle by two points. Hover over this plane, F3 to lock it, Control H takes me through to the sketch view. So it's 37.5 wide, 10 mil, and hit enter to get the orientation set. Again, we'll add dimensions on here. Um, if I just sketched it, I could have rejigged these dimensions at any time. So I'll come over here and this one needs to be 50. Unlock the plane with this point over here. Hit escape, click within the region and the arrow. Um, see we're getting symmetry, so if I hit shift key again, we can just sort of snap to a key point. If you're not getting the key points, you need to change it on here. So I've got it set to all and just change it to something else if I want to be a little bit more specific. So that gives me my first cutout. And I want to have a second one of those. Um, so if I rotate the view, select the area that I want to copy, um, one sort of uh, thing that people get confused about with singleness is the um, option of when you copy why does it not sort of um, give you what you're after you can see it just copying the surfaces um, the reason is because we haven't got a capped face on there so if I hold the control key down and pick on the two sides basically all that does is keep the um, capped area not the um, whole thing so um, then if I click on the copy command on the command bar and just drag that across. The distance on this needs to be 25 and I'm going to add the thickness of the lug as well so I can just do simple maths in the window and hit this escape key and you can see we've copied that across nicely. So now if I draw this boss over here um, I'm going to hover over this plane and lock it and if I just type in the size, I want 40 height, click, hit the A key, and you'll see that we have a cross coming through this circle on here. Going left or right off this gives me um, perpendicular arc, and coming up or down gives me a tangent, so that needs to be 25 mil radius. Click, and then just close that up. So 
as you can imagine we've got that on the wrong plane and that was done just because it's easier to do it this way um, so I've selected the sketch um, steering wheel comes up if I click on the center knob I can reposition the steering wheel make sure your design intent is off um, you will toggle that on or off um, so then I just need to click on the torus and that allows me to um, rotate that around so that just needs to be 20 degrees and then from here if I hit the escape key I can go to the extrude command click on the region right mouse click to accept it and I want to change my option to through next on the command bar and then making sure that it's pointing down gives me that feature so um, now we need to do the boss and if I sort of rotate it sort of so it's sort of semi um, in position um, circle by center just hover over there I can get the center um, that one needs to be 25 um, shift tab takes me back to the diameter so I can go 12 and just place the next one escape key drops me out and then I can pick up off that region there um, so I'm only having to do the one command and that comes up 15 mil like so so that sort of finishes that part um, again I'm going to hide my PMI we can always come back and use that to resize things later um, so now we'll draw this piece up here so if I go line command again then I'm going to draw it on this plane um, you'll notice that we have um, an edge highlighted in green that defines the orientation of the part I can go N and that sort of reorientates it to a different view so we want to go F3 that's the um, edge that it's going to align to so from this I'm going to start drawing from here um, A key to switch to an arc this will be 35 and go around to that's 180 drop down and then move into sort of close that region I can then sort of add those dimensions in again and as you can see this one's wrong so I can just type that in and it's going to move down because I've locked that uh, first point onto the edge so that's the only way that it can move so to get it positioned again I can click on the endpoint there click on the endpoint there and that just sort of gets the whole thing set up right turn off the sketch plane and again we need to um, go up to our sketches hitting the escape key takes me back to the select mode I can then sort of reposition this so you can see that the um, steering wheel aligns with the face that you're on so if I sort of come down to that bottom face I can get it sort of um, in line with that bottom face and then we can just rotate it so this needs to be 30 degrees and as I did before I can go extrude click on my region change my option to through next right mouse click to accept it and point it into the part so um, this has some slots cut into it so we'll draw that on the face so if I hover over here F3 control H and I'm just going to draw a couple of lines in on here and then I can use the offset command 5 mil distance either side of the center line and click to place it so click to select right mouse click to accept it and then click to place and then you right mouse click to reset again so um, that sort of gives me my profile um, I can delete these ones now 
and then I can use my trim command and get rid of those four pieces. So then I want a circle by center, and um, this is a 25 mil diameter. And if I hover over the edge there, I should be able to pick up off the center point. Right mouse click to accept it, and again I'm going to trim away um, the area. So just click and hold down. That's what we want to get rid of. So that gives me my um, profile. Um, don't need to do all of that, but it just makes it easier when selecting it to um, sort of position that in. So this wants to come down five mil, like so. And then we've got a um, roll. If I hover over that, can lock that plane. And this wants to be um, 15 mil diameter. And click the region and drop it down another 5 mil. So that just leaves the um, sort of radius cutout in here. And we can sort of um, go to an arc by three points. If I hover over this plane, F3, Control H, um, we want to come down uh, to this point here, and it wants to be a 50 mil. Sorry. <laughs> Forgot to click to place. And then there needs to be a dimension on here. Let's do a distance between and from there to that. Actually, I'll do a offset line from this edge here. And that needs to be offset five mil. And I'll place a dimension on this point here, and I will make this construction, and then I can add a tangent relationship to bring that into the right place. So from there, I can click on this region in here, and just drag that through to um, the key point here. And as you can see, we have now completed that part as shown.